What's up, guys? It's your boy Thirsty Weave coming at you with another how to video. Uh, we're doing the Master Lost Sector excavation site oh, 12. Oh, I keep saying 11. Um, for this one, you're going to want anti barrier scout rifle, um, unstoppable grenade launcher. Uh, on your scout rifle, if you can get explosive payload, it will absolutely shred these anti barrier shields. Um, so let's get into it. In the first area, you're gonna come into an unstoppable champion and some Cabal Legionaries. Um, take care of the Legionaries first and then focus on the unstoppable champion. If you stay up by spawn, the unstoppable champion will not come up that far. So just hang out back here, pick off everything, get the unstoppable down and move on. Awesome. After you take care of that, the next area is going to open up. You're going to have two unstoppables and an anti-barrier waiting for you right there. There's going to be some trash ads as well, legionaries, and the shield cabal as well. I uh, recommend taking care of that anti-barrier because he does have the blinding shots that he can shoot at you. And those can be quite annoying. Another thing to note with the anti-barrier Colossus is if you are shooting his shield when he pops and you are not actually shooting him, it will not pop his shield. You'll see that happen right here. Um, not a big deal, but he does regen all his health and you have to start over from scratch. All right, so while we're clearing up some ads and taking care of business, um, let's talk about subclasses or class runs themselves. Uh, I'm obviously doing this on my Revenant Hunter. Love stasis with the ability to freeze a champion while it's in its cooldown. So the unstoppables, after they come out of being stunned, they have about a three to four second cooldown before they can be stunned again. Um, being able to freeze them really helps with the engagement, so you can either get distance if you need to or um, get a little more burst damage on them to finish them off. Um, you could do this on any Arc or Hunter subclass. Wouldn't necessarily recommend Arc Strider, but you could do it if you're really hard up for that. On my Titan, I usually will run Middle Tree uh, Striker, just with uh, Curious of Falling Stars. Really does a great job of burst damage on all these bosses. Not necessarily the safest, but the burst damage is insane. On a Warlock, I did it twice, once on my Well Warlock and once with Nova Bomb. Uh, War the Well Warlock kept me alive a little easier, but the uh, Nova Bomb did put in the deeps for me. So whatever your loadout is, just make sure you got that anti-barrier scout rifle with explosive playload and a couple grenade launchers to finish everything off.
Awesome. Then after you finish off all those ads, there are going to be two more unstoppables up by the boss. Uh, recommendation is to try to pull them one at a time and get them away from the boss. Boss has an arc shield, plus has those blinding shots that it can do. It's really obnoxious to try to fight two unstoppables up there with him. So uh, get them pulled, take care of them. You'll see me pull one, kill it, and then get the other one away from the boss as well and get it down. Awesome, once you take care of that champion, all that's left is the boss. You can just use a little anarchy to take care of the shields. Make it super simple, super spicy. Uh, use your super, use everything, just whittle it down, stay alive, and away you go. Fun little side note here, if you're using just a regular grenade launcher and not anarchy, his his right armpit where he's holding the gun you can actually shoot a grenade launcher through there and not hit him so best to hit him center mass with that you'll see me miss two of my grenade launcher shots just squeaking it through that hole on his right arm between his body and the gun After you kill him, go collect your loot. I hope you have good RNG and get your exotic that you're looking for. If this video helped you at all, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and then go follow us over on Twitch at ThirstyWeebFB to catch up on all the live action. Stay thirsty and thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.